What's up guys, my name is Johnny and I'm going to be going over the Energy Expedition STEM kit and we're going to be checking out Station 1's activity which is Forms of Energy. The Forms of Energy station comes with a facilitator instruction guide which is really easy to use and it even explains how you could set this station up, how many tables you might need and it shows you all the materials that come with this station. It is up to you on how you would like to set up your Station 1 activity. Typically, a large enough table that will fit all the materials is all you really need. You just want to make sure that your participants can visibly see all the, the materials and items that come with the activity. Some of the items will be photo representations and others will be the actual physical item. If you have any other items that you would like to include, you're more than free to do so. Now let's take a closer look at the actual activities instruction sheet. So for finding forms of energy, you will step one, explore all of the different items, read each of the energy labels describing the different forms of energy, and then you're gonna to want to sort each object into each of the forms of energy. Once you are done sorting the objects, check your answers using the answer key. Your last step will be to record these answers on page one of your science notebook, which can easily be found on the first page. You will be sorting your items into the six different forms of energy. Mechanical energy, electrical energy, thermal, sound, light, and chemical. So let's go ahead and look around our table and see what forms of energy we can identify. So let's start by identifying which form of energy the sun belongs to. So, it's definitely not sound. Light, chemical, well, let's put it in with the light energy uh, category. So for light energy, it says a form of electromagnetic radiation, ra radiation energy that is visible to the human eye. All right, so let's go ahead and put that with there, or we can, um, let's just keep it over here and we'll just take this guy and this will be our pile for light energy items. So let's go ahead and do that with anything else that we think could go in light energy. Starlight, I'm gonna take a guess that this can go in this category as well. And we can move this stuff away. Now let's see, okay, human speaking, That's that should be pretty easy. So I think actually we even have, we already have some items that are sound energy that are here right now. So let's go ahead and grab sound energy card. And we're gonna go ahead and put that with human speaking. I'm gonna take a wild guess that this little guy is definitely gonna be sound energy. And I'm gonna take a guess that this is also sound energy. So these guys can go right there. That will be their little home. Um, let's see what else we got. So, okay. We got a peach. Let's put a little peach right here. And we got another food item, which is a potato. So when I think of this type of stuff, I'm thinking when your body eats it, that's, <sighs> your body is taking in calories. So that is a form of chemical energy. I would definitely believe that that's what that is. And so I'm gonna take the chemical energy, which says energy stored in the bonds of molecules that is released during a chemical reaction. Yes, I think that fits the description of these food items perfectly see if there's anything else. I don't really see anything else that would fit with that. All right, so next, why don't we go with thermal? All right, so thermal would be energy created through the vibration of molecules creating heat. Okay, well, we've got something over here. We got the kitchen stove. So this is, I would say this is thermal energy. And what is this little guy over here? All right, and we get to play with this fun little uh, little guy right here. So touch and see a change. Okay, what do we expect will happen? Oh. Okay, wait, there we go. This is a um, thermal sensitive paper that we have inside of here. And as you can see, it changes colors with temperature. So that is clearly a sign of that being a thermal reaction, a thermal energy. Um, and then let's see what else. Okay.
okay, mechanical energy. So, mechanical energy, the mechanical energy of an object is transferred to the object when work is done to it by an outside force. Okay, well, an analog clock would be a perfect, dis would be a perfect fit for that. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, we got this cute little frog. Okay, so this little frog, it's so cute. All right, so like, let's wind it up. I got one hand right now, so it's a little tricky. We just need to wind it up a little bit and then watch this little guy go. Oh, wow. Come on, little froggy. I thought I wound you up enough. There we go. Okay, he's going, he's headed over to mechanical energy. He knows he belongs over there. Now, this looks like mechanical energy for sure. This little um, wind up uh, music player. So we'll put that over there. Gasoline. So I'm gonna put this over here. If we're wrong, we're wrong. It's fine. We can always, it will be a fun, it's, it's, it's just a fun little experiment anyways. All right, and then let's see, we got electrical. Energy, this is our last card. So, energy made available for use by the flow of an electric charge char created by the attraction and repulsion of charged particles. Okay, so that can go right there. The flashlight is already at home with that. This little electric candle, how um, funny that a candle would be over here, but yes, it's an electric candle. So that gets to go in electrical energy. These would go in electrical energy. They take electricity. And so we're gonna put those at home there. And I think, oh, and lightning. Okay, I'm gonna put it with electrical and hope for the best. I'm gonna put this with chemical because that's a chemical reaction to make the battery power. So hoping this is right. Okay, it's time to check our decisions or my decisions, which I'm hoping are correct. Maybe I might be wrong. Okay, okay. Oh my God, yes, I was right about that. I was right about that. Okay, okay, okay. Fruit toy. Yeah, yeah, no, that's in there. Okay, all right. Let's start with thermal energy, liquid crystal sheet. Yes, that is over there. As you can see, we got, so um, what's in there is stove image, geyser, and sun. We have that stuff in here, do we not? Thermal, wait. Oh, I see. Okay, so apparently there is not a one size fits all for some of these objects. Like you can see that for thermal energy, the sun image can actually, it is thermal. It can fit in thermal, but it can also be sorted in the light energy. All right, because I mean, the sun is a thermal, it's like a thermal reactor. It's, it's spitting out thermal radiation as well as light. So totally fits in there. For sound, we got tri the triangle, the maraca, human talking image, and the wind-up music box. Well, that's true because it does... The wind-up music box, everything else, we already got that. But the wind-up music box, it creates sound, but it's also a mechanical energy. Um, like, it fits in that, in that form of energy. So, it can go in either way. Either would be correct. Electrical energy, surge protector outlets. All right. Computer image. Uh, lighting image. Battery image, chemical energy, creating electricity. Yeah, okay. Uh, light energy, LED candle. The LED candle should have gone there, apparently. So I was a little bit, I was wrong about that. And it looks like the flashlight also should have went in um, light energy. So, okay, I, I'll just put those over there then. And then this, like we said, the sun, the star light can go over there. And then let's see what else. Mechanical energy, the wind-up gear, uh, the wind-up gearbox, which is the frog they're talking about. Um, the wind-up music box, and then the analog clock. And then for chemical energy, we got battery image, gasoline, vegetable toy, and the fruit. So, all right. So you can see you get an idea of how this activity goes, and it's honestly really fun. Uh, you know, the participants get to learn about. And they have to think about like, where do these items fit in the forms of energy? And you know, you don't really think about like, oh, where does this form of energy belong? But this activity will make your participants 
think about that and second guess themselves just like it did for me. So thank you so much for checking out this activity, watching this video and uh, stay safe. Keep your hands super clean and keep that mask on. Bye guys.